Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to connect to a server on a domain using Clonezilla. I'm using the latest version of Clonezilla um, and this is recorded um, in March of 2012 so I believe the version that I have is 03272012 of Clonezilla since they're no longer using the uh, Clonezilla 8, Clonezilla 9 that I know of. So um, first off hopefully you have Clonezilla. If you don't I suggest you download it. Um, unfortunately this video doesn't get into how you get Clonezilla or how you get it to boot or anything like that please refer to another video uh, in order to get Clonezilla and booting it up. Uh, I've got it on a USB stick so I'm going to go ahead and select it and we're going to start this tutorial. So since I've got it on a USB bootable, I'm going to go ahead and select it. And there's Clonezilla. Go ahead and select that. I'm going to go ahead and let it load it into uh, memory, <coughs> which is usually the default setting for uh, Clonezilla running on live. And once it loads into memory, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the USB because at that point it will no longer be needed. Okay, so now that we're at the welcome screen, uh, I've already disconnected my USB, and I, we're at the language selections. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and select our language, select English, and we're going to select our default keyboard option. We're going to go ahead and start Clonezilla in GUI mode, so we're not going to select uh, entering into the shell. We're going to leave it at Start Clonezilla. Okay, and from here, it's asking whether we want image a, a device to device, which would have been uh, maybe like a USB connected directly to the uh, desktop, or in this case, our Dell laptop, uh, so, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use um, the top option, which is device image from another source. And again, since this is a tutorial to connect to uh, a domain uh, server, we're going to use the Samba option since it allows you to connect to networks or neighborhood. Uh, servers. Uh, we want to select the default DHCP broadcast which allows us to be assigned an IP address and from here it'll default to basically whatever uh, I guess uh, IP addresses within the range that are allowed our server is on dot one and you need to know what the IP address your server is connected to so uh, find that out and then that's how you'll know what IP address to put in that uh, previous selection uh, domain in the Samba server usually just leave it as default uh, account in the server <clears throat> if you have an account on the domain this is where you would enter the information so I'm gonna go ahead and enter my information so I'm gonna go out of focus for a second since you don't need that information and it says okay within the domain what uh, what directory do you want to save this image to? 
Well, I've got a shared directory on my server, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the shared. And now it says, now, now that you have entered the information, enter the password for the user that you provided. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the password. And if you enter your password correctly, and then it'll let you connect to the server. And again, we'll go out of focus for a second here, just so that we don't have any information that shouldn't be on the internet. And again, if you if you entered all the information correctly for your server, then you'll you'll get the screen as opposed to getting an error. And it says, okay, what mode do you want to use to clone uh, or upload the image that uh, you're going to use up onto the server? And in this case, for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to go through the beginner settings. And what do we want to do? We want to save the disk, save the current disk that uh, is mounted on this Dell. Okay. Now we want to name the image. And this is a Dell Latitude E5510. So if you have like a naming convention that you want to use or something like that if you're imaging a lot of stations then you can do I guess we can do down and then we can do I guess E5510 dot IMG you don't have to use the dot IMG I use dot IMG just to let me know that it's a Clonezilla image since I use Ghostcast quite a bit as well and I did I kind of have a naming structure for these so dot IMG for me tells me that it's a Clonezilla image and we'll hit enter and we want to go okay there's only one hard drive on the systems and it's already selected and the asterisk is already put there for me so it says which hard drive do you want to uh, upload well it's already selected so I'm going to click enter and then we're going to leave the default settings to skipping uh, any error checking and that kind of stuff on both of these and <coughs> Down here on the bottom it says, okay, everything's good, uh, ready to connect, uh, ready to get everything going, press enter to continue. Okay, and it says the machine that you are using is a, a Latitude 5510, so on and so forth. We're going to go ahead and upload the image Dell E50, E5510.img are you sure you want to continue Y or N so Y for yes enter <laughs> and away she goes look at that she's uploading to the server and of course, I'll show you that it is uploading to the actual server, which is on the domain. Okay. And, again, it is on the shared directory of my server under Dell E5510.img. And, there are the files that it's uploading see these numbers change as it's uploading on the fly.